Turn to 377, the song of faith. 377, the song of faith. We'll start on the first. All right, here we go. Brethren, we have been to worship and adore the Lord our God. Will you pray with all your power while we try to reach the word? All is vain unless the Spirit good to see each and every one out here at Crossroads on the day the Lord has given us and welcome those also on Facebook Live to Crossroads Baptist Church. We certainly pray a blessing over any of the visitors that are here. Uh, just join in with us uh, today uh, with our services. Uh, I have a few announcements. Uh, today is conference day, so immediately following service, uh, we have a very brief conference uh, that we'll have. Uh, so we will uh, conduct, uh, I don't believe there's any general business, just a routine uh, conference for this, this afternoon. Um, also, uh, remember uh, this week, uh, I believe the 21st, uh, Wednesday night, uh, those that can uh, will be visiting Mount Pisgah for their revival at uh, 745. Uh, so remember that uh, as that comes up this week. Are there any other announcements? Go to the Gwinnett Strikers game next Saturday. I believe the first pitch is at 6 o'clock, I believe. Um, so if you haven't, let us know that you wanted to go with us. Just let us know. You still can. Um, but we, we've had several respond that they would like to go, so we're going to go ahead and purchase some tickets to go to the Gwinnett Strikers uh, next Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. But we encourage who, who all wants to come, whoever wants to come, just come and be with us. <coughs> next Saturday. Yeah. This is open to everybody, not yeah. just you. Yeah, whoever wants to come, yeah, please. Yeah, anybody who wants All to come. Yeah, older you. Yeah. So pass the word around. Next Saturday is the, the target for the uh, Stripers game in Gwinnett County. Um, any other announcements? If not, uh, if you'll stand, uh, we'll uh, take up this morning's uh, collection. Um, 
So please turn to page 458. We will try that one. <coughs> Sometimes day my soul will fly away up high in the sky, far above this land of grief and woe. With my Lord I'll fly away on that day, happy day, to that land where living waters flow. That land where living waters flow. Some glad day I know I'll go to live forever in the air. This lovely land, wonderland, where the angels sing from the throne, shining from raising heaven's king. And some glad day I know I'll go to that land. Taps and fears, home up here, home where I have lost so much to go. Soon on wings of love I'll rise to the prize in the sky, to that land where living waters flow. That land where living waters flow, my soul is longing to be there. And some glad day I know I'll go to live forever in the air. This lovely land, wonderland, where the angels sing, around the throne, shining throne, raising heaven's king. And some glad day I know I'll go to that land. this morning to be in the house of the Lord and see each and every one of you that has made the effort to come this way. Just thank you so much for being here. It's already been said this morning, if you're visiting, don't feel like a visitor. Join in with us here at Crossroads. And most of all, each and every time as we gather in the house of the Lord, if you've never accepted Him and you feel that tug at your heart store, we hope and pray that this is the good day that you come and accept the Lord Jesus Christ before it's everlasting too late. And we want to wish all the fathers a happy, happy Father's Day today. I hope you're having a, a good day today and everything's going uh, maybe just the way you'd see fit today. So lots of good fathers around Crossroads Baptist Church. We appreciate Vicki. She's got uh, some, some buckets out here. Um, I didn't ask her, is this a car wash bucket right here? Oh, okay, okay. All right. So uh, we're going to try to get through this, and y'all know me. Now, I can mess this up really good. So if I start to, y'all just keep me on track a little bit, okay? So the first uh, bucket we have here that's got some peanuts and different things in it is for our oldest father. So we're going to start out about 98. Anyone this morning at 98? 97, 96, hey, the, Brother Royce, let's give Royce a hand this morning. <laughs> the newest father this morning, we'll start out, uh, I guess, at uh, one week, two weeks, three weeks, Four weeks, five, six, six weeks. Okay. Is anybody claiming that or David just pointing? Seven? I was five weeks. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Nine weeks. Okay. Nine weeks. I got the, what did I get to? Seven? Eight? 
Nine. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I know you can count. <laughs> The father with the most children. Is it safe to start off around 12? No. <laughs> Higher than that? No. No, 12 is good. No. Don't take her zone 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, <laughs> he. <laughs> and this fourth bucket, Vicky says that uh, maybe I can take that home, and I appreciate that so much. We love each and every one of you so very much around Crossroads. I hope that you know that, and for what you do around here, appreciate you uh, this morning. Now, we're going to do this this morning. We're going to open the doors of Crossroads Baptist Church for exception of members this morning. Uh, if you've been saved, have that experience of grace, and want to come this morning as a candidate for baptism, or you may have your letter with you from another sister church, the same faith and order, want to come and deposit it with our clerk, or may want to come out of the watch care until your letter can be obtained, or also you may want to come by way of statement. So we're going to stand to our feet and sing a verse of song, and the doors of the church are open. For a section of members. Let's all stand. 447. Song of the faith. 447. On the first. Rock of ages. Flare for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood. From my wounded side was blown. Be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Could my tears forever flow? Could my tears no longer know? These for sin could not atone. Thou must say. We've got two precious old souls that's come up here this morning. We want to talk to the church. And we're going to start right here with Ellie. You just tell them what your heart's desire is, Ellie. He saves your soul. Y'all heard that. Now, what would you like to do? Thank you. Amen. I like that. Well, you want to join the church? And you want to be baptized when we have baptized? Okay, you've heard her heart's desire this morning, and you've heard her testimony. What's we'll your motion this morning? Make a move. She'll be received in and can't be baptized. Make a motion. Got a move and a second. All those in favor of this, let me know say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign of certain this morning. Let it be done. We appreciate her so very much. We have Connor over here that wants to talk to the church this morning. Go ahead, Connor. What the Lord do for the vacation Bible study? Uh, Amen. You've heard that testimony this morning. And what's your heart desire? What would you like to do, Connor? You want to join the church? Yep. Yeah. And be baptized when we have baptizing? Yeah. All right. You've heard his heart's desire this morning now. Boy, I tell you what, this is a scary long time. Sometimes it when you stand up here in front of a bunch of folks, but we got some brave, courageous people up here this morning that I'm standing beside, and I appreciate them. So you've heard this heart's desire this morning. We wait your motion. I make a move here to this candidate and baptism. Got a move in a second. All those in favor of this, let me know I'm saying aye. aye. Certainly this morning there would be none. So we're going to stand to our feet this morning. Come ahead and give them the right hand of Christian fellowship. And then after baptizing, we'll come back around and give them the right hand of church fellowship. So now all parents, 
grandparents or whoever, before we start singing, you just come right on up here if you want to be a part of this handshake this morning. And I also encourage one another this morning to go ahead, shake hands one with another, make everyone feel welcome this morning. All the last, while I draw this bleeding breath, when my eyes shall close in death, when I rise to world of and behold me on thy front, rock of ages left for me, lay me high. Hey! 
We're thankful this morning for what our hearts can feel and what we've already been able to witness in the house of the Lord. Uh, Ellie and Connor coming this morning and join the church. We're just excited about what's been going on around Crossroads Baptist Church. And I'm just thankful this morning for another opportunity to gather just like we are this morning. As I already said this morning, if you're here and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, we hope and pray this is the good day that you come and accept Him before it's everlasting too late. And I realize today as we spoke just a moment ago about this being Father's Day, uh, sometimes Father's Day, it brings back lots of memories for folks, those where their father has already passed away and going to be with the Lord. You begin to remember them and times that you spent with them. And those that have their fathers today, I know that you cherish them and you love them and you appreciate them so very much. And I hope that you tell them that today. But how precious it is when we think about what a father that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, that is always present for you and I. And I appreciate that so very much. So before we go any further, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. And I'm going to ask Brother David Martin if he would pray this morning. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for another day, Lord, that you've blessed us here on earth. Lord, we thank you for the sunshine we came out this morning and the beautiful day you provided. For this, Lord, a day we set aside to celebrate fathers. Lord, I'm thankful for my father, Lord, and all the father figures that's uh, come and gone. And, Lord, uh, fathers in this church, I pray that you'll bless each one of them, Lord. But we're thankful most of all, Lord, like Donna said, for our Heavenly Father, Lord, and the love that you show us. Lord, go with us throughout this day. Lord, watch over us. Keep us safe. Lord, forgive us where we fail you. Lord, I ask that you be with the sick, the shut in. Lord, those who are lost loved ones, Lord, I pray that you be the comforter. Lord, be with us in this service. We've got your For Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, David, for that good humble prayer this morning. And some of you this morning, you may have your Bibles. And if you'd like to, turn with us. Uh, we're going to start reading this morning uh, in the book of Mark. The fifth chapter, we're going to read a few verses and then read some in Corinthians, maybe in a little while also this morning. But this is what the Bible says in the 21st verse of the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. It says, And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. <clears throat> I pray thee, come and lay hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. This morning, I want to stop right there for just a moment. Now, I thought about how many times when we think about fathers and we think about the role of a father. And I thought about in my lifetime, and I was so thankful and grateful to have a father that I had in my life. But the times that he went on my behalf unto the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you what today, I believe today, that there's fathers around Crossroads Baptist Church that you go on behalf unto the Lord Jesus Christ for your children. You will go on behalf for the children in this community and all those around that make up the church here at Crossroads. And I thought about when I was coming along as a child, maybe sometimes I didn't realize how, how that my father would go on my behalf how listen unto Jesus and pray a prayers for me. How, but as I've got older, I realize, and I've seen some of them prayers that I believe, how that he prayed that's come to pass. How, listen, I want how my children to know today, how whether you realize it or not, how whether you have thought about it or not, how there's been times, how lots of times down through my life, of where I went on behalf unto the Father, of speaking on your behalf and trying to pray 
I listen for your life. I listen today, a father. When he prays, I believe. I listen, he prays. I wife for the Lord's will, but he prays also. I believe for his children that they might have a life of happiness, that they might have a life of enjoyment, that they might have a life of successfulness. Oh, but most of all, a Christian father today, I believe they pray. I listen when their children reach an age of accountability. I listen they mind. I realize their lost condition and come. How why and be saved then. How why they may too know how the Lord Jesus Christ. So listen this morning. Fathers, they go on behalf. I listen to the Lord for their children. How because we read in your hearing this morning how this ruler of the synagogue, the Bible says his name was Jairus. How listen, we've got to think about how why this man and what authority that he had been a ruler. How why the synagogue. How, but I'm going to tell you what, he must have been a humble man how, because he began to humble his heart because he had heard about the Lord Jesus Christ and he realized how why that his daughter was in a situation. How why that he, how I had no control over. Over. How listen, I'm going to tell you what. How wise, hard enough as a parent. Uh, when we look at our children sometimes uh, and listen, we've prayed for them, but they come across uh, situations in life uh, uh, that we have. Uh, how why no control over? Uh, but you know what? He had realized this, uh, and he still went on behalf of his child unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, listen, begin to speak. Speak unto him and tell him how that his daughter lies at the point of death. Uh, now listen, uh, let's skip ahead in God's word in this same chapter. Uh, 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 to the 35th verse, uh, uh, listen, it says, uh, Why he yet spake, uh, there came from the ruler of the synagogue, synagogue's house certain, which said, Thy daughter is dead. While troublous the master any further, as soon as Jesus heard the word that he was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Uh, listen this morning, how uh, I, Jesus, uh, uh, being that heavenly Father, unto uh, you and I, he's ever mindful. Uh, listen, when he heard that uh, this low uh, girl, this low damsel, how uh, wide she had slipped off into death, how uh, uh, wide Jesus seen, how uh, wide the opportunity, how uh, wide that he might go to where she was at, how uh, wide that he might show those folks uh, uh, who that he was that they may also believe. He spoke unto Jairus and said, How to be not afraid, how but only believe. Listen this morning. I want to be an encouragement unto fathers here this morning. And I want to speak the words that Jesus spoke and said to be not afraid. I listen, but only believe. You see, we live in a world. I listen when I think about my children coming along and how times has changed and how these small children are living in a world how that seems like, oh, why so evil and corrupt. I want to speak unto these fathers this morning and say, I listen, be not afraid. But only believe and only continue to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because He's overcome everything that we see. He's overcome all the evil and the corruption. And these low children, they have hope this morning because there's hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. I continue to go on their behalf unto the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father. I list the Bible. Bible says uh, uh, to approach the throne of grace boldly. Uh, fathers today, go boldly unto the throne of grace uh, on behalf of your children, uh, on behalf uh, of your household this morning, uh, that the Lord might be uh, the center of it today as you go down 
how my life journey. How listen, the Bible says, how you keep in mind how they was a father, how that went on behalf of his daughter, how when Jesus went to where she was at, and listen, he went in, how when he began to speak unto her to arise, and the Bible says how that life was brought back into her, how I listen, the Bible says, how while he spake and said, I'd get her something to eat, how while she'd been dead, but she was brought back to life, how while she had an appetite, I listen this morning, how while when we're dead, how while the trans aggressions of sin, the trespasses of sin today, and we realize we're lost and undone. Uh, we're spiritually dead, uh, but I'm going to tell you what this morning, uh, there was one that went on uh, uh, on our behalf, uh, 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 under the Father this morning, uh, and that was the only begotten Son of God uh, uh, that died on Calvary's cross, uh, uh, that shed his lost blood uh, uh, for their missions of sin, uh, 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 that we might have hope uh, uh, when a resurrected Savior when we realize uh, that we're lost and undone uh, uh, we can come unto him uh, and he's an advocate today uh, uh, on our behalf unto the Father uh, uh, while we might have salvation uh, uh, while that blood's applied uh, and he claims you and I uh, was his own this morning listen uh, while they witnessed uh, how oh, why a miracle? I'm gonna tell you what my mind goes back. How oh, why the Bible school? How oh, why I witnessed 13 miracles, didn't you? And seeing those lost oh, boys and girls oh, go down, how oh, lost and come up, how oh, professing the Lord. How oh, why Jesus Christ? Now listen to what the Bible says. Oh, let's go on just a little bit further. How uh, while this morning, if you won't turn with us, how uh, while in the second Corinthians, how uh, listen, how uh, the sixth chapter, the eighteenth verse, and uh, listen this morning what it says. It says, And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Now let's just ponder on that, God being our helper for just a little while. I already said in the outstarts, I was blessed to have such a good father that I had in my life, a grandfather that I was able to look up to also. But I'll assure you one thing this morning. There's a world full of people today, and I've never seen it more clearly than I have seen it in my life. How Listen, how they don't have how the love of a father, how listen there's children today, how listen they experience life, how without that security, how without that refuge that you can feel, how listen the earthly father. And you know what I believe that it brings around? insecurities in these children as they're growing up and growing along and listen when they reach a wide adulthood sometimes those insecurities and all of these troubles that they have seen in their life it's like a roaring lion how I unto them and we realize who that old roaring lion is is Satan today how that wants to tear down how but I want you to get this on your heart and upon your mind this morning if you've been blessed how with a good earthly father and still with you how you praise the Lord how well, if you've been blessed with a good earthly father and he's gone on to be with the Lord how you still praise him this morning how but if you're here or listen to the sound of our voice this morning and you've never had that earthly father this morning. And listen, I want to speak unto you how this morning say how that we all have how listen how we don't have to be orphans how listen this morning we don't have to be alone we don't have to face the world alone through insecurities and these inabilities that we feel in life 
how that we have a heavenly Father. How why the Lord Jesus Christ, and He accepts you and I, and He calls us sons and daughters. Listen. How we're joint heirs, the Bible teaches us. How oh, wow, that all that heaven holds. How oh, wow, all that awaits you and I there. How oh, just through our faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. I oh, saw so no one I can be fatherless today because of what the Lord Jesus Christ done on the cross of Calvary. How we can all have, how oh, wow, that heavenly Father today, how that never leaves us, how that never forsakes you and I, how oh, wow, that helps you and I, that guides you and I, how oh, wow, upon, how oh, wow, life's way. Oh, listen, aren't you glad of that today? How oh, wow, the whole world... <laughs> Uh, listen, it breaks my heart sometimes how uh, we think about children, how uh, they don't experience that home life, how uh, uh, why and all of these things. How uh, uh, listen, sometimes I've took for granted in life. How uh, uh, listen, it breaks my heart how uh, this morning, how uh, but to think about how uh, my low life, how uh, uh, this morning, whenever I realized uh, uh, when my father passed away, and listen, I had to rely. Uh, listen on that heavenly Father. Uh, listen today. How uh, we can always. How uh, I claim that heavenly Father. And you know what? That heavenly Father. He'll bring us back. I uh, watch our earthly Father someday. Uh, when this life is over. I uh, prove salvation. And the blood of the Lamb. And the hope that we have. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you'll go with me uh, just a little while longer this morning, you pray. I want to read uh, one more verse of Scripture out of the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Now, it's a very, very familiar verse this morning, but you listen to what it says. <clears throat> it says, And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Listen this morning. Love, it never fails. Uh, listen this morning. Uh, you, knew, uh, you know who hates love? Oh, Satan today. He hates love. He hates to see a father that loves. He hates to see a mother that loves. He hates to see a family uh, that loves. Oh, Satan, he can't stand that uh, because when he sees that, he knows that family is full uh, of love. Why, we know that God is love uh, and he realizes that. And you know what old Satan will do? He'll try to get right Right in the midst uh, uh, why of a family and tear it down. He'll try to corrupt minds. Uh, uh, why in a family? Uh, why to find fault and tear it down? Uh, but I'll show you one thing this morning. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, why when we're saved, we're in the Father's hands. Uh, and we can't be plucked from that today. Uh, you may feel like that you're under a threat today. Uh, but I'll show you one thing. And the Lord Jesus Christ and our pro claim him today uh, why I claim him as my heavenly father my savior uh, my redeemer today and through him we have won the victory and we're more than conquerors through him that loves us and his name is Jesus uh, you know what when I think about uh, why my earthly father uh, you know what he had he had a genuine love uh, uh, listen because he knew uh, where that genuine love was uh, he knew about the genuine love uh, because it comes uh, uh, from the Lord Jesus Christ uh, I'm going to tell you what this morning uh, why I love a genuine love. I don't, how I appreciate, I don't believe anyone does. And I don't believe the Lord, how I appreciate anyone that tries to love. Oh, why out of obligation. Aren't you glad this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ, there's nothing fake about him. Oh, why he didn't do anything out of obligation. Oh, but he went with a genuine love to the cross of Calvary oh, for you and I. Not out of obligation. 
Uh, why, but he went with a genuine love. I'm going to tell you what today. Oh, uh, I don't like nothing fake. Oh, uh, I don't like nothing corrupt. Do you? Uh, I'm going to tell you what when you see people. Oh, uh, why, that try their very best. Oh, uh, why, to corrupt. Oh, uh, why, and all of these things. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, that's not love. Oh, uh, why, I'm telling you this morning. Oh, uh, that's nothing but a Satan this morning. Oh, uh, why, that is entered into the minds. Oh, uh, why, and you're pondering on it way too much. Uh, why it comes out of the mouth uh, uh, listen this morning uh, but the Lord Jesus Christ listen he loves you and I as fathers love their children and you know what uh, just as Jesus forgives you and I uh, listen a good earthly father uh, why he's always forgiving uh, why unto his children I listen, there is times in my life, I listen, when my father forgave me, I listen, when I was undeserving, I listen, there's times in my spiritual life, oh, why, when I get humble and ask forgiveness of my sins, oh, why, I'm undeserving of that advocate that we have in the Son of God that goes on our behalf unto the Father, we're undeserving, but the grace, oh, why God is sufficient, oh, why we find favor in that grace, oh, why and he's able to forgive you and I. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, for the fathers oh, that I've known in my life, oh, that knew what that genuine love was and wasn't afraid to show it. Oh, listen, oh, sometimes we think about, oh, why men... And we think about the ruggedness of men and all of these things. But I'm going to tell you what. Sometimes we don't realize, but men, they have a heart also. Sometimes there's things that makes men's hearts while mailed, while when nothing else can. Listen, sometimes while men, whether we realize it or not, they feel things. Maybe they don't express it on their face, but they feel things and they know. Listen this morning, but aren't you glad when you look back in your life? Why, and you can see those father figures. Why, at church, that wasn't afraid to praise the Lord. Uh, listen, wasn't afraid to pray out loud. Oh, uh, I wasn't afraid to lead songs. Uh, I wasn't afraid to come to church. Uh, I wasn't afraid uh, to lead someone else's children to Christ. Uh, of those fathers uh, that we've been blessed with and still are around Crossroads Baptist Church. The father went on behalf, didn't he? Jarius did for his children. I believe there's fathers around Crossroads Baptist Church in the present day and the past that's went on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ for the children and the children of this church. When they reach the age of accountability, they might be saved, that they might know the word of God, they might know the love of God. I believe this morning <laughs> that we have a heavenly father uh, that no one has to be orphans. We can all have a father in the Lord Jesus Christ spiritually this morning. And I believe this morning in the love of the Father, oh, that he loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son, listen this morning, to die for you and I, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. You know what the Bible says, and I love the word of God. When it talks about love, and you reach a point in your life and you don't know which way to turn, just love, just be kind. And because you know what the Bible says? That love will never fail. And we know who love is, and that's Jesus, and he never fails. Never will he fail. It's not in him today. And that's a promise from the word of God. It's not possible. It never fails today. Things might not work out the way you want them to, but that love, you'll be able to go to sleep at night, lay your head on your pillow, and be able to sleep good at night when you're able to love in a genuine love, not out of obligation, but because you know what true love is. 
that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. As Taylor comes with a song this morning, and we begin to stand to our feet, listen, we're here to honor fathers, but you know what, this morning, let's just all honor the Heavenly Father this morning. Uh, we're here to honor fathers, uh, but if you're here this morning, you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, listen, that's the most important thing this morning. If you feel that tug at your heart's door, how uh, that you come in faith this morning and believe in, in the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that went on your behalf, that when you reach this point in your life, that you might have a Redeemer, that you might have a Savior, that you might be able to have those sins wiped away, that you might be able to have eternal life when this life is gone, that you might be able to have a friend that sticketh closer than any brother, how that you may too, spiritually speaking, I'd never be fatherless, but you might have that Father in the Lord Jesus Christ. As we stand our feet and sing a verse of this song, if you're back there this morning and the Lord is dealing with you as we sing, won't you just step out and come? Uh, listen, if you want to tell the one beside you just to go with you, they will this morning. <laughs> oh, this morning. Oh, and I'll say this. Oh, such a beautiful sight. If you just want to raise your hand, y'all remember that? Just a little hand went up in the air. How uh, you do that this morning? Uh, listen, I'll come pray with you. I can't save you this morning, but I'd be glad to come uh, right where you're at this morning and pray uh, there with you. Won't you sing this morning? I'm living at the bottom of the page. What about it this morning? Is everyone saved? Or does someone need to come? Hardly a comfort can afford. Does everyone know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior? Are you here this morning? Have you ever been saved? Feel that tug in your heart and door. Won't you just step out and come in faith? The Bible says, with all of thy heart, confess with thy mouth, and thou shalt be saved. going to sing another verse of song. That be okay, Taylor? And when we sing this next verse of song this morning, church, you just follow the Lord. Listen this morning. Don't do anything out of obligation if you want to go hug your father. Don't do it out of obligation. Listen, don't do it just to go be seen and all of these things, but do it out of a genuine love that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Out of a genuine love Mean it how this morning as we do and sing this song. If you're lost, come and be saved as we sing. Neighbors are kind, I love them every one. We get along in sweet accord. But when my soul needs better from
said that, but I will tell you again. And once again, we appreciate all these fathers around here this morning and what you do, what's seen and what's not seen, but you do it out of love for your children, love for the church. We appreciate you so very much. And we're going to start with prayer requests this morning. And we don't want to leave anyone out, so y'all going to have to help me this morning, okay? So we're going to start. And Vicki, do you feel like give us an update on Charles? He's doing good. I just cry. <coughs> they're just waiting on his numbers to come down. Charles' kidneys are there. Now, I'm going to get fancy if I say this, but it might say it wrong. Now, I think it's creatine. Isn't that right? And his kidneys are a little bit high. So if they're waiting on that to come down, and they have to adjust the hands a little bit. So y'all remember Charles when you pray. Remember Shirley Wall? She had a lot heart attack. And she was up. She's over at Gainesville, and they're going to try to treat that with medication. So, anyone else? Dorothy got to come home. Dorothy is at home. She got to come home last night. She's still got a long way to go, but uh, she is improving. Do you remember Dorothy? And I believe that I heard uh, that Janie's going to have a. That's the procedure done, feed you put in on Thursday, is that right? Either Tuesday or Thursday. She goes to the doctor tomorrow and uh, they'll know. Then. Let's continue to remember this. Continue to remember Dana. She goes for her consultation for radiation tomorrow. And then her antibiotics for uh, the first two on Thursday. Let's continue to remember Dana. This sweet old family. And we appreciate uh, the strength. I know the church does. We can see it and uh, her faith that she has in the Lord. I appreciate that so very much. Anyone else this morning? Donnie, I want to ask everyone to remember my having a flare up again. Goes back to the Let's remember my. Been dealing with this situation. I'll be about two years. I know what just happened. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Let's remember all of our shut-ins, those that can't get out and go. Let's certainly remember them Hello. in prayer. Hello. Remember our summer revival that's coming up. I know that you've been praying. Go ahead and get up some extra prayers for that. Then we'll have a good week of revival. Church might be revived. We might see folks saved. Remember the revivals that are starting tonight. I believe that Mount Pisky is. And Silver City, I believe, starts tonight. And I'm sure that there's others. And I'm forgetting right now. All hearts and minds clear. And Donnie Hannah's having a procedure done on Tuesday. So. Let's remember Hannah. Let's remember this. Okay, so I guess it's around 12, I guess. So, Dad, y'all got, I mean, 12 more hours left, so y'all better end <laughs> up. <laughs> Better enjoy it. I've been heard one or two say that after after twelve, well, it's done. <laughs> Time to go back to normal. Whatever normal is, I don't know. <laughs> All hearts and minds clear this morning. Appreciate you once again for being here so very much. Mary, would you dismiss us? Our heavenly Father, we we thank you for this day. Yes, you given us. We thank you for being able to come to church. To hear your word, preach, Lord. We just thank you for these words that to you here at Bible School. One to one of the day, Lord. We join the church. We bless them and guide them. 
Okay, appreciate that prayer, Mary. Now listen, I know some of you may have something to go attend to, but we understand that, but this is also Conference Sunday around uh, Crossroads, as Mike mentioned, so... Uh, well, Taylor's not going to play nothing on the piano this morning, I'm kidding. But we can sing another verse. We'll sing another verse of song, and all's invited to stay for conference, but if you need to leave, we'll sing this verse of song and give you an opportunity to do that in time. So may God bless you as our prayer this morning. 